Hello everyone, this is part two of this series on Django Q, uh, the task Q for Django. We left with this uh, Django project. It has a view which takes 10 seconds to get back to the user because we created a block on purpose with this sleep function. Now, this happens because Python is single threaded by nature and so Django. Uh, it is really easy to block a Django view. Uh, think about an API call inside a view, for example, or interactions with the file systems or with a third party um, API. Now, this is not, not a bad thing uh, by itself. There are many ways to get around single threading in Python. Um, Python got recently, in, in uh, recent years, uh, the async keyword. Uh, Django is moving toward the asynchronous world. Uh, it just got uh, basic support for uh, ASGI in version 3.0. Uh, still, there is no support for uh, asynchronous view. So as of today, uh, using a task queue, a separate task queue uh, for offloading asynchronous tasks, those tasks that could take too much time to run to a separate queue is still the better way to handle this kind of things. In this episode, we'll prepare the Heroku project. Uh, I'm using Heroku here because uh, it has the uh, free Redis add-on. Now, if you're new to Redis, it is an in-memory database, uh, can be used as a cache or as a message broker. Now, a message broker, you think about it, is just like a post office box. It takes messages, holds them in a queue, and folks around the city can retrieve messages later. Uh, Django queue uses a, a, um, is able to use to interact with a lot of brokers. Uh, in this tutorial we will use Redis. If you're interested in the architecture of Django queue, I've got this link in the description. Uh, in brief, Django queue uh, saves a reference of the asynchronous task uh, inside uh, Redis and later it can retrieve this reference for running that task. Um, okay, let's get to the console. Um, let me open another uh, tab. Go to the project folder. Uh, if you want, you can activate the uh, Python virtual environment and here I'm going to initialize a git repo. This is uh, needed by Heroku. Uh, now if you haven't got the Heroku CLI or the Heroku account yet, it is a good time to pause the video, uh, go get the account and come back here. Otherwise follow along with me. I'm going to create this new Heroku project. Uh, I want to use, I like to use the Europe region here. Now I'm going to add two uh, add-ons. Roku Postgres, it is uh, of course a more robust solution than uh, SQLite for production. Uh, later away when, when we, you will deploy to production, uh, Postgres will be convenient. And also let's add a Roku Redis. So make sure to be in the, in the project folder. Uh, now the application name is totally random. Give it a couple of minutes for activating the Heroku Redis uh, add-on. Heroku Postgres should be ready. Uh, you can run Heroku config and get back uh, the database URL. Here it is. Now in the meantime, let's install Django queue, the actual task queue, and Redis. Now, uh, Django queue uses Redis, as I said. Uh, it needs uh, the Redis client anyway to run. Uh, oh yes, I forgot. I missed install here. Pip install Django queue Redis. Here we go. Uh, Django queue is in place, Re the Redis client too. Uh, let me run again Heroku config. Let me see if it picked up the Redis URL. 
here we go uh, you should see the, the, this database url here and the redis url here now let's go inside the settings of this django application uh, we will need to activate django queue here in the list of the installed apps django queue next up is still in the project configuration we're going to copy an example of configuration here from the uh, Django queue documentation and this is the configuration for uh, the Django queue cluster uh, name should be the name of the project so my project is called Django queue Django there are a lot of configurations here you can take a look at documentation to learn more we need to fill these keys with the uh, credential that we got from the uh, Heroku head on. You can run Heroku config. Now, keep in mind that this is just for development. Uh, don't never ever um, put this credential inside a GitHub repo or in a blog post. This is just for development, it is just for this tutorial. Now, um, in this Redis credential, I can see the host here, so let me copy over this to my configuration. Now, host needs to be filled with the uh, Redis host.heroku uh, gave to us then this is the password for the uh, redis instance we need another key here it is password uh, next up we need the port 2638 now, one last step before moving on, run the migrations because Django Queue needs to apply its migrations and then launch this command python manage.py cool cluster and this will launch the uh, Django Queue cluster. If you don't have any error in this uh, passage, you're good to go for the next episode. See you in the next video.